In 1940, only 20% of infants born with congenital heart disease survived to adulthood. Modern cardiac surgery arrived in 1944 with the first effective treatment for cyanotic congenital heart disease, commonly known as Blue Baby Syndrome, in the form of the Blaylock Tossig operation. By 1959, the year that the Toronto Congenital Cardiac Centre for Adults was founded at Toronto General Hospital by John Evans, the survival rate had risen to 40% and the earliest survivors, preserved by the Blaylock Tossig operation, were reaching adulthood. By 1963, the heart-lung machine was 10 years old and the mustard operation for transposition of the great arteries could be successfully performed by the first time at the Hospital for Sick Children. Ontario resident Maria Willing was the first blue baby to undergo the mustard procedure. Maria turns 45 this year. It was a landmark solution conceived in 1955, successfully performed in 1964, and it led to a procedure that will go on to be performed hundreds of thousands of times. It continues to save countless lives around the world today. In 1982, the Adult Congenital Heart Disease Program is officially formalized at TGH. In 1989, the ACHD program at Toronto General Hospital adopts the name Toronto Congenital Cardiac Center for Adults. In 1995, the Adult Congenital Heart Council was formed in Toronto by a group of patients and family members with the goal to advance the care of patients through educational programs and fundraising to support needed projects. In 1996, the Canadian Adult Congenital Heart Network, founded in 1991 and chaired by Dr. Gary Webb, delivered the first guidelines on the management of ACHD patients and implemented a national care plan that standardized management for these patients. These guidelines were the first worldwide and were endorsed by many national societies. In 1999, with a gift from the Bitto family, the Bitto Family Foundation Professorship in Adult Congenital Heart Disease is established providing the opportunity to carry out and oversee ongoing research. Also in 1999, Neville Thomas, a Toronto businessman, personally touched by a congenital cardiac condition, opened the Neville Thomas Adult Congenital Heart Library. The library continues to provide access to multimedia learning resources, and most resources are available through the internet to patients and cardiologists across Canada and around the world, making this the first virtual library of its kind. In 2002, the ACHD program is recognized by the National Institute of Health as offering a gold standard of care. In 2005, Toronto General Hospital is the first hospital in Canada to perform percutaneous valve repair, in which patients are repaired without open heart surgery. Cardiologists can repair damaged mitral, pulmonary, and aortic valves using this non-surgical technique. Recovery time in hospital is reduced from weeks to days. In 2006, the Neville Thomas Library expanded to include a physical space in Toronto General Hospital. New methods for cooperation, case discussion, education, study and development emerged through the Neville Thomas Televideo Conference, a program that allows doctors in CDH clinics across the country and around the world to consult with each other to improve CHD care. Under the leadership of Janine Harrison, nurse practitioner, the Toronto Congenital Cardiac Centre for Adults organized the first Patient Education Day to teach patients how to live and cope with their heart condition. The fourth Education Day was held in May of 2009. In 2007, clinicians at Toronto General Hospital Peter Monk Cardiac Centre develop a process to repair a common heart defect linked to stroke with an implant patch that encourages the heart's own healthy tissue to grow and heal itself. In 2009, the Adult Congenital Heart Program of the Peter Monk Cardiac Center at the University Health Network is 50 years old, and the ACHD program is recognized as a world leader through a membership statement of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario by Dr. Helena Jasek, MPP. It was the first program in the world established specifically to serve adult survivors of the pioneering programs and surgeries that saved the lives of children with congenital heart disease and it remains the largest program of its kind anywhere. It has more than 6,000 active patients in its care and a registry that exceeds 12,000. For the last 50 years, the Adult Congenital Heart Program at the Peter Monk Cardiac Center has been a global trailblazer in patient care, program innovation, research and professional education. 
Since its inception, survival to adulthood of infants born with congenital heart disease has risen to 90%. And congenital heart disease, once strictly a pediatric condition, now counts more adults in its ranks. The program has become renowned for long-term outcome studies, care of pregnant women with heart disease, attention to the psychological aspects of CHD, collaboration with patient organization as well as the world's standard setting adult congenital surgery and interventional procedures and clinical care. Trainees and fellows have moved on and established similar programs throughout Canada and on five continents, making the Toronto Congenital Cardiac Centre for Adults the model on how to provide care to adults with CHD. It is proudly the reason there are thousands of adults all over the world who, despite being born with CHD, will lead active, happy lives with families and futures. Since its informal start in 1959 and through work by Dr. Mustard and others that followed when CHD was essentially a ticking time bomb and living into adulthood was a lottery or a miracle, through its history of innovation, of collaboration, of education, and of tireless patient care, Getting treated at PMCC means more than a fix, it means a future.